Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden back again with another Real Life Stock Review for Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. Hope you had a great weekend and I am back in the full swing of things. So I hope you guys are ready and I hope you guys have been watching my reviews because there has been some gainage to be made. First one I want to talk about is the SPY. Now, as if you can remember, I mentioned back here, we were going to create an all-time high, another all-time high, and most likely roll over. I didn't know how big this dip was going to be, although if we just take a look here at the shorter term moving averages, we did get a nice, beautiful retest gap action uh, just yesterday. So we did actually come down to this support level right here. Right, and we did have some very beautiful volume, and we are currently retesting. So right now, I mean, we could potentially go lower. My next target would be 305.10, which is the 50-day EMA on the daily, if we do go any lower. However, I do think that this is a very nice buying location. This is, uh, a lot of the buy the dippers are coming in here, guys, so just beware. Um, I'm not exactly picking this to be the entire top and I don't think it's going to be the exact bottom. We could potentially roll, go sideways, create a nice little lower low, and then bounce on out of here. But here, guys, market is just consolidating. We did have a gargantuous move here um, back in October, November. So it makes a lot of sense to be having a small pullback. Let's take a look at the E-minis. Now, the E-minis did have a beautiful little sell-off. Uh, nice big three bearish candles in a row with beautiful volume and right now we are just chilling look at that beautiful little bullish candle just chilling right now and uh, for the most part I think we're just going to trade a little bit sideways if you take a look at the hourly chart what is interesting is we are creating somewhat of a double bottom uh, and we have got some volume coming in if you take a look at the uh, I'll take a look at the 15 minute actually so you'll see that this volume actually only just came in in the last half an hour to an hour or so right here um, and if we are looking if you are looking for an entry to go long you know 309.425 or 309.395 uh, which would be a very nice really nice entry and stop down below here if you were going to take this one long um, but keep that keep your eyes peeled guys because on the hourly chart as you can see we are we are getting some very nice long lower shadows here getting a lot of buying action happening and obviously the volume to support those particular trades so keep an eye on a small bounce it may be a little bit choppy around here guys if we do get another sell-off uh, don't think it's going to be very very long I think it will happen quite quickly and then we should start to see some more buying happen Let's take a look at the Dow Jones ETF the DIA the diamonds and uh, look at this amazing long lower shadow so you can see there is a lot of buying coming in here guys uh, short term moving averages is straight off the 50 day EMA my gosh no one would have no one would have thought to buy off that level that's absolutely insane uh, you can see on the five minute we did get a really quick sell-off and then started to create these nice little uh, higher lows high highs and we just slowly grinded back higher so Dow Jones does look to be look to be consolidating and I do expect us probably to slowly grind higher IWM uh, the IWM just retesting as well. Also not closing below the 20 yet, guys. We are staying above here. So it does look like a just a nice, decent little retest gap. We did have a cute little breakout. Now we are retesting, and I do expect us to slowly grind higher. Let's take a look at Apple, ticket symbol AAPL, and what a beautiful gap. Uh, a lot of people... A lot of people uh, were trapped here at open, and obviously there was a quick little sell-off. Did not last very long at all. This was a very, very obvious little double top. Uh, if we are going to go lower, guys, I do expect us to come up a little bit higher. And then if we start to get some nice high tails here, uh, we'll probably look to come back down to the 50 maybe. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes peeled on a little dip buying opportunity. Uh, or, or maybe a short-term short opportunity too. If if the setup comes into play, guys, obviously only trade what you see. Let's take a look at Tesla and it, when everything was, you know, gapping down, you know, Tesla was just doing its thing and gapping down slightly and then continuing to bounce. So everyone's obviously super bullish on Tesla. Uh, they did have their new car come out. 
<laughs> looks a bit fra- it looks a bit crazy, but um, Elon, mate, the visionary, what an absolute legend! He's doing wonderful things for this world. Uh, buy the dip on Tesla, guys. If we can break below this low, obviously look to buy again off the 50. Um, but Tesla looking fairly, fairly strong. I do think. I am a Tesla bull and hope to own a Tesla car one day. A lot of real life traders making a lot of money on Roku yesterday. Congratulations to you all. But we did once again just come back down to well, the 50 EMA here and almost down to the 100, which was a red candle gapping down, which is a nice little retest gap. Square, another, another retest gap, gapping down to the 100, retesting, going higher. Uh, there's a lot of th- a lot of these things did happen, guys, and obviously JD as well, just gapping down, coming down ever so slightly to the 100 and trading higher. Enough about the US stocks. Let's take a look at the all odds and what an amazing sell-off here we did have. But as you can see, we're still in the beautiful range of this ascending wedge right here, and we are currently retesting. So we'll see how this one goes, guys. If we do come back down to the to the 200, obviously that will be a nice buy at the dip location, Uh, but this is also a nice buying location here, straight off this uh, lower band on the trend line here. Let's take a look at CBA. CBA, uh, did someone say buying opportunity? Uh, I just did, this looks like a great buying opportunity off the the 200. Uh, We have never bounced off here before, guys. It is absolutely so, so rare to be buying off the 200 simple on the daily. Oh my gosh, this is just so great. Uh, CBA, I did mention uh, all those all those people who did sell those $83 and $82 covered calls, uh, or the, sorry, the $83 to $84 covered calls up here when we were at the highs. Congratulations to you guys. You should be able to buy to close those options. And let's take a look at BHP. I did mention the same thing on BHP around 39 uh, around 39 to 40 if you are looking to sell some options and once again should be able to buy to close those covered calls I did say that we are going to trade a little bit sideways with BHP for a while guys and once again just to reiterate we are going to go sideways for a little bit longer Let's take a look at APT APT my friends we are consolidating like I did mention we will have something like this happen so take your time and plan your trade we could obviously go back down to the 200 I don't think that's going to happen we probably could most likely trade sideways here and I would look for a buying opportunity if you are willing to do so let's take a look at Harvey Norman and Harvey Norman just doing its thing we are coming back down to the 200 looking super super saucy and don't remember to buy the dip. Let's take a look at crude oil, doing not a lot, just having a small sell-off and then bouncing again, uh, no big deal. And uh, look to buy the dip. Obviously, there was a lot of buys coming in here. I don't know why. There's no support level at that particular price. Not mentioning uh, anything there. Uh, so, yeah, gold... Also, we are consolidating at this price as well, guys, and uh, I do expect us probably to trade lower. I did say that um, it, may, it just may take a little bit longer, um, and then obviously look to buy the dip off the 200. And last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar had a little bit of a rally, uh, had a little bit of a rally as um, as as well as gold. Uh, but we are. What is interesting here, guys, is we are actually creating some higher lows. Um, so we'll kind of see, kind of watch and wait and see what's actually going to transpire with this. Uh, we could just most likely consolidate in a small little band. Maybe maybe the Aussie dollar is finally finding its value here down at 68 cents. So keep your eyes peeled on that. Buy low, sell high. All right, guys, I'll be back on Thursday with a real life stock review. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'll speak to you in just a couple more days. And remember, love life, live life and trade it. You're amazing. Bye.